I'm Toshio Magari and I design typeface at Monotype in London. I don't know if those uh, visual language needs to be localized perfectly. Uh, for example, my Tibetan isn't really sans serif, but that's what they're happy with. And as long as they're happy with it, then yeah, what's the problem? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, localization isn't really 100% transport of visual language. I think it's okay to allow some variance in the uh, design language, not just in typefaces. Uh, for historical typefaces, it's obviously all we have is historical materials. But for other cases, I yeah, sometimes uh, see native uh, users of scripts and um, collect handwritings. And by writing materials, well, if the script is in current use, I would just collect as much as uh, as much currently uh, available materials as possible. And yeah, and I'm also yeah, trying to make it as uh, contemporary in terms of technology, contemporary is possible, so that it, work, it works like ten years later. So it, it's not just using basic Latin; those days are over. <laughs> um, well, to some extent, yeah. The, the, the most uh, font formats or specs are based around Latin. Uh, and there are lots of stuff to do in uh, non nothing. For example, in Arabic, there are lots of words that goes this way. You know, that's what you call uh, Tom Meadow calls cascading. And it's really hard to tighten the spacing around it because you might be kerning like three or four letters at the same time, which is really hard to deal with. So, yeah, there are lots of stuff that I hope that happens in the next font format. And did I answer all question? Uh, in, wait a minute, there might be. Anyway. Yeah, it sounds like there was another question, but I don't remember. That was about what you would oh, want to see Oh, smart components. Um, yeah, uh, is, it, is there enough support on a technical basis? Uh, yeah, I mean, the development uh, of Glyph's application is really uh, uh, yeah, very much into non-Latin, and not Glyph is really the best non-Latin font design application. So smart components was uh, mainly uh, designed for CJK, the Chinese, Japanese, Korean, but it can be used for index scripts where lots of repeating shapes happen or maybe it can be used for mathematical uh, designs where you have you need to have lots of different size of numbers for example well not that then I don't think uh, I don't see any bad how can I say well implication in the word non-Latin, it's just specific, it's just not Latin. So, well, when I go to Japan, I talk about uh, foreign scripts, uh, as we call non-Japanese scripts. So, it really depends. I mean, yeah, of course you can use the word non-Arabic or all this stuff, but yeah, I mean, I don't really mind using the word non-Latin. It's just, just what it says. <laughs> Ha <laughs>